Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to override any existing service in Drupal. So we will be having an N number of service from core country module, right? So if you want to override the existing service based upon your client requirement or any custom logic, in that case, you can go with this option. So uh, consider if the service is providing N number of functions, like 10 functions. So if you want to override all the 10 functions, you can do it or you can override only one or two function by using this way. So I'm going to explain how we can do it. So before that, I have created a custom module. So this is a custom module. So what I have done, uh, this is a routing file and it is pointing to print slash message. So when you go to the page, print slash message, you will be able to see a message called hello admin. And this is one is a admin user ID, okay? So I created a service. In that service, I'm using current user as a uh, variable and I will be passing a service in the service.yml file. So here I'm passing. So in this, I have two functions. One is to print the ID and one is to print the message. So ID will contain uh, the UUI, UID of the user and message will represent hello admin, hello xxsy, whatever the account name we are having for that particular login user. So this is what the service is. And I created a controller file. So this is a controller file. In this controller file, uh, the routing file will point to this controller, the message function. So when you go to the message function in the controller, here, so I am calling to the service which I created. So this is the service, right, I created. So in that, uh, so you can see the machine name. So I'm using the same service and service I'm calling to the function of print message and then ID. So print message will give me the hello comma username. And then this will give you the U, U, UID, sorry, UID. So both I got it in the uh, build function. I'm just returning the markup. So message and then ID and then uh, ID variable which we got and this is not required. So once you got this, you can see uh, the uh, data is rendering here. So hello admin is a message and then ID, I'm just uh, closing it with the two parentheses. Okay, so that is how I'm printing here. And I created one more module. So I will explain that module to here. So this is the module which is going to override the module uh, service which we already have. So I have info file and only three files. So this file, uh, there is a file called override custom service, service provider, right? So this file will help you to override the particular service. And this is the custom service, which I'm going to use instead of the one which we, I already have, okay? So whenever you're creating a new service provider, so which is going to override any existing service, you have to create this file inside the SRC and then class name and file name should be the module name plus service provider uh, name. So which means if you see here, uh, so this override custom service. So this is a module name, right? So this is a module name. So I'm just replacing underscore uh, with, I'm just removing the underscore and then I'm just uh, cap camel casing the first word of each uh, first word in the module name. So it's a override custom service. And then plus you have to provide this name, service provider. So you have to mention this name in this way so that it will work. If you are creating this file with any other name, the service provider will not work to override any existing services. So this is how you have to create a class name. And then I, you have to override this particular class if you want to alter the existing service. So that's what I'm doing here. And then here we have a container builder. So it will help you to override the service which we are already having the container uh, services. And then reference. So it will help you to pass the argument. I will explain it in the bottom. So here in the container, I'm getting the existing service. If the service definition is this, I'm just removing the class with this custom class. So custom class, this is custom service class. This I'm going to use with the module name, this one. So this particular service will be overrided with this class. 
And since this module has an argument to pass, I am setting the argument of current user here. So to pass it, you have to use this reference class and then you have to pass the service name. It's a current user service. Once you set this, you have to go to this file. So in this file, if you go to the top, so I'm just having a namespace, use, and then a custom service. And I'm having a construct function. So automatically, I will get the argument from here for current user. I'm just assigning that user here, current user. And then I'm just implementing the same two function. So uh, what I'm doing, so in the ID, we are returning UID there, right? Here, I'm returning the mail ID. And then in the print message, we are printing hello admin. So here, welcome admin will be printed. Okay, now I will enable this module and I will show you how it is working. Okay. So now the module is enabled. So uh, now we'll go to the same page and let's refresh this page. The message should be changed to welcome admin, the mail ID. So are you able to see it? Okay. So now we have one more scenario. So consider now we have a service. In that service, we have only two functions. So we are just overriding both functions. Uh, consider any service which we have already in core and it contains like around 15 functions or 20 functions. So uh, overriding all the functions is not a good practice, right? So we will be uh, required to override only one function in that existing function. In that case, you can do one more way. So what is that is, so I'm just using the service from the another module. So this is the service I'm going to extend. So I will give extends utility service. So for this, I know I don't need this current user because that user is already defined in this uh, in the utility service which we created so i'm not going to use it and i'm going to remove this function itself so let me comment them <clears throat> so i don't need this constructor and then i don't need this print function so uh this is how i'm just changing and then here we will be passing the argument right so the argument also not required because since we are extending the existing service, so the variable value will be coming by default and account interface is also not required. And then, okay, now it's all set. Okay, so now uh, let me clear the catch for that page. Now what the message should be printed is that welcome admin, the UID. So it will be one. That is how it should be. So let me refresh now. So now are you able to see? So the welcome admin is message is coming from the extender class. And then one the ID, print ID function is called to the base class that is utility service, the existing service. So in this way, you can override some particular function instead of overriding all the function. And then that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.